Paratai. Oh, a little bit right short, right but right quick. Right. Dominic Cork. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Bowler? Absolutely. On these surfaces, I like the fact that they've gone with spin. That's a little bit quick, a little bit of moving away from Shamel. That's nicely played. Cries of catch it, but it's going to go too far. It's a really, really good shot. Absolutely. The matchup of the left arm into the left handed batter. He has to take it on has to look to hit it out the ground straight away. They cannot just look to get themselves in here. They've got to go from the off. If they're able to put them under pressure, the rules in the field and get off to a good start in the power play and maybe get 60 or 70 in the power play. Keep it like that. Lime is good. Don't do too much with it. Crisply hit, back with a square to Bastali. Chavez is providing uh, lots of encouragement from behind those sticks. Eight off the first. Karatai. Rise of catch, an optimistic. Hammered, back foot, four. He looks focused. He does look focused. May have hurt his shoulder a little bit. Put that to one side. Just let the adrenaline take you from here. How well he times this. Tries to go wide. Knows he's a gap between extra cover and mid off. And he's a shot away from a half century. Half century in the blink of an eye. Punching that on the onside. It's only going to be one. Takes him to 49. Oh, that's out. Yep, it is out. Nathan Edwards is the man that uh, picked up that catch. Got to keep going. That's the unfortunate thing about it. Zolki Fowl, who sees Midoff up in the circle and thinks he can get it up and over, and all he does is he hits it flat at Nathan Edward. He's at Midoff. Good catch. And that's what the Royals just want to keep doing take wickets and put the captain under pressure Zolki foul goes for two the Sharks 52 for two Nazim has just arrived and he just missed out and he thinks a boundary just wanted to go to the left of that fielder and this is the end of Zolki foul just picked out mid off good catch by Nathan Edward well, it's nicely bowled, saw him backing away and delivered uh, nice and full, tried to get under the bat, I think he did that, but it went past the leg stump. Decent pace as well. How quick this ball is, like a little left arm seamer, and he edges it. Not too far away from leg stump. Last ball the over. And it's a very good one. It's a dot ball to finish, it's a wicket, an important wicket, five only from it. Five overs gone, 52 for two. Hit that hard. That's all timing and some power into it as well. It's not easy for the spinners to ball on this pitch. Very good bat speed by Hasib Nazim. Just look at the power he creates from that back foot. A little transfer of weight, but it's all about... Gone! Middle off. And this time, outsmarting the batter. It was a little flighted, more flighted than the previous one, and the length was dragged back. Hasib Nazim was already gone with the shot because he was batting with the pace of the last delivery. And Shamil Hussain knows that they can't be losing wickets if they have to chase 200 plus. Hasib Nazim walks back to seven. Goa the Sharks, 66 for three. They definitely need a big partnership and the one that's quick as well. Because Hasib Nazim, who was looking good, played one shot too many. He was already through with his shot as the bowler takes a little bit pace, slight 
change of pace and change of length. Down the wicket and he smashes that into the side screen. Shamil wants to win this match. He has looked really good tonight. Excellent use of feet, good steady head position, watching the ball till the end. If you want to go hit the spinner straight down the wicket, you need to look at this replay again. Excellent connection. Yeah, we're very close. Uh, that came in, came in quick. Wanting a picture with Mike Hayeswin. Tina, we've seen some fantastic cricket, not just tonight, but throughout this tournament. They achieved as opposed to 12.41. Got to just try and split it 120 down the middle, 60 in this five, 60 in the next five. Oh, there's a boundary. Now then, all of a sudden, boundary in the first three balls just helps. Just talking about tonight, it's amazing what the final does to you. I mean, we've had a couple of times where teams have looked like they're going to get closer to 200, they end up 20, 25 short. And only three or four times in the previous 19 matches in this competition. But today... I think also, and this is no disrespect to the other teams, these two have been the, the best teams. And these two have obviously played each other before both won a game they know this surface now they know the makeup of their side to set that total 225 and them to still be in the hunt yeah! 10 overs down this may be another wicket it is Arnhem Noab again long gone for the Guarda Sharks throughout the tournament he's tried to go downtown and hasn't got the elevation that he wanted hasn't got the power Noab's not going to drop those he's a Feel that celebration for Karatai in his last over, a crucial wicket. He goes for 19, Arafat Minas, Guada Sharks in trouble, 110 for five. The team has played. Both Mushtaq Ahmed and Viv Richards, two excellent coach and mentors. End of the 11th over, it's 110 for five, and it's time for a timeout.